With this news exclusive now, viewer video captures cars going the wrong way on a one-way street right outside a local school. And it's dangerous for a lot of reasons, and now parents are hoping to work with city leaders to make some safety changes. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima joins us now from the Providence Bubble Newsroom with the story you'll see only on Eyewitness News. Parents and administration here at Times 2 STEM Academy say this isn't a new issue, but it is getting worse, which is why they're recruiting the help of city leaders to address it. For three and a half hours a day, this portion of Fillmore Street outside of Times 2 STEM Academy is a one-way road, but that doesn't stop people from driving the wrong way up it. It bothers me more that it's a one-way, but the thing that bothers me the most it's a one way in a school zone. Providence City Councilman Nicholas Narducci was appalled when he saw these videos showing cars swerving past the barrier, even up on the sidewalks, all while students are walking to school, adding another hazard for bus drivers. We got to watch the parents, people coming down the driveway, walking their kids because they don't want to walk out to the main street and walk on the sidewalk. So it's that's our concern. We, the bus drivers, don't want that on our conscience if somebody gets hit while we're trying to pull out the driveway. Jennifer Ortiz took some of the videos on her cell phone. She says many of the perpetrators are parents of Times 2 students. There are parents that have taken it upon themselves to stop and record. I've done it myself and we get yelled at, we get sworn at, we get threatened to get beat up. She says it's only a matter of time until someone gets hurt. Councilman Narducci says they plan to put up new no parking signs on this side of the road. He also hopes to make this section of Fillmore a permanent one way street. As parents, that's our concern, right? We don't want them to just be safe while they're in school, but safe on their way to school and leaving school. Councilman Narducci plans to meet with the city traffic engineer and Providence police on Monday morning to discuss the next steps in making it a permanent one-way street. Reporting in Providence, I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.